hello everybody and welcome to this channel once again thanks so much for clicking on this video so if you're new here kindly hit on the subscribe button to subscribe if you're old here thanks so much for coming back again so in this video i'm going to share with you how to design a corporate real estate flyer design in photoshop so without further ado let's get into the video all right so i'll be doing this with an a3 paper size so you go to file new and then you select international paper and then you select your A4 paper. You click OK when you are done. To do this design, you are going to need some couple of images of which I downloaded some from Google. All the images used in this tutorial are not mine. I have no idea where they are coming from. I just picked them from Google so you can just Google it up. All right, so first of all, I'll set a solid background color. I'm going to use a color, a dark one like this one. And then I'm going to click OK when I'm done. Now next, I'm going to select my rectangle over here and draw up a rectangle to cover a part of the solid color that we've created. And then I'll bring it over here. And I'm going to change that color to something very creamy. So let's say around here or there. And I'll click OK when I'm done. So basically, I'm just setting up the background for our work. Now next, I'll select the rectangle again. And I'm going to draw another rectangle over here, a very small one there. And that will also pick up the color of our background or our solid color. So I'll bring it down like this. And then... I think the background is already done so next i'm going to import an image so i'll go to place and then i'm going to select this real estate i have some images over here like i said earlier none of the images are mine and i have no copyright or i have no claims over it so if you see this building or anything over somewhere it was just used as a tutorial right so I'll double click on it and I'll select it like this. I'll right click and rasterize it. And then I'm going to position it somewhere around here. So I'll make sure that it fits to the very edge of the rectangle that we created. And then I'll position it somewhere around here. Because we're going to add some info at this very place. Okay, so next I'm going to add another rectangle i forgot to add another rectangle and then i'll go to the blending options and i'm going to give it a gradient overlay so i already have the gradients here these are the colors you can just see them over here and this is the second one basically there are two colors but i've split them into four and i'm going to click ok and change the angle to zero and then i'll click ok again so basically i have my rectangle set to this side and i can position it somewhere around it anywhere here that will be fine right so next i'm going to add some couple of more rectangles um over here so i'll draw a nice rectangle And then I am going to duplicate this and make some four more duplicates. Um, so I will try to speed this up and catch you when I'm done. All right, so basically this is what I've got so far. And then we're going to import some images and clip mask them into the rectangles that we've created over here so what we're going to do is we select a particular rectangle like this and then we go to place the file and then place and then the image that you want to place so first of all let's say i would like to place this particular image so you select it and then you right click and go to rasterize layer right click again and go to create clip masking so basically or just fill this this rectangle only right so we can transform it out let's say 
so that we can see this part only so this is the second image the fourth copy that we made so you go to file then place and then you can place let's say this image over here i right click and rasterize it right click again and go to create clip masking and then basically it fits to just this um now it is a square so but basically we use the rectangle so let me use the rectangle so that i will not be confused okay so i'll just try to speed up and catch you because i don't want to keep this very long and boring so catch you up when i fill all the other rectangles stay tuned okay so after you've done with this what we are going to do next is add the test to it so we're going to place the test on top of this particular layer so the first one probably might be the name of your real estate but since this is just a tutorial i'm going to use let's say um real estate flyer design so real estate flyer design and i'm using the font called acrobat and then the size will be bold and i'm going to pick the color from the creamy color that we chose earlier on so i have it like this so real estate flyer design and then i'm going to position it in the center and try to open it up a bit so let's say that's it okay so next i'm going to add the features of let's say the room that we we showcasing so we choose the test tool again and then i'm going to change the color to um the dark brown color yeah over here and then this the font the font type is still acrobat and i'm going to write features so we're going to write down the features of the building that we're showcasing right and i googled this app so i'm going to just type it basically it's not um the real thing that you you need to know so let's say when you are trying to design something similar you make sure that you get the correct info and then you use them so i'll duplicate it and then i'm going to change um the size to let's say bold or semi bold good and then i'll start to type so let's say we have a gated community and then self like i said i google this app so in 24 hours security five bedrooms and seats two big halls 100% finished home and then a serene environment good so let's say these are the features of um, the house or the estate that we are portraying so just bring it over here and i'm going to try to decrease this one out and position it somewhere very nicely like this okay so afterwards let's say the person is offering a cool discount on this building that he or she is selling so we try to give it a 20 percent huge discount so 20 percent and then we dec we increase it or we transform it up bring it over here and then make a duplicate again and change that one to discount so we transform it down like this and then we position it somewhere around here so this looks cool 
and then we bring it down over here right so this looks cool so the next thing that we can do also is that let's say we will add um contacts let's say contacts right so for more info for more info please call and i'm going to use my contact so um, let me bring it over here and then plus 233 okay so afterwards you can just zoom it out transform this down and then you can place it in the center of the flyer and place it position it very well and it's like this so afterwards i think everything that needs to be on this flyer is there any other thing that you would like to do or add will be at your own um, creativity and imagination so this is in my opinion how to design a real estate flyer um, I think I'm not I'm not good at real estate so maybe the info that I presented on this um, flyer might be out of bounds but just take the very good aspect of it and try to build on your own thing and design something really creative and very eye-catching thank you so much for watching this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and don't forget also that i'm doing a q a leave your questions on that video and i'm going to answer all of them i'll catch you in the next video innocent here bye